Hello, hello, welcome to African World Traveler. This is your man here behind the same winds, traffic light, traffic light. There's the flyover bridge. This is how things look like. This is the flyover bridge. It is a man, the OIC road project in the Gambia. It's one of the busiest places in the Gambia. This is the traffic lights. We have a Sukuta traffic light. But we have this main traffic light. This is the main one. It's the main connected one. It's the flyover bridge. This is what's going on. Construction. Road construction. I'm going to go underneath the bridge. This is how it look. Wow. This is the main connector. This is the main flyover bridge or bypass or on the bridge. It's the busiest place, I could say. The old OIC road is the main road. It's Kairava Avenue. Down that way on my right. On my left, my left side is uh, Fajara Way. And uh, turning back on my left this side, it takes you to Senegambia. And the other direction here, the south, is going toward the Independent Stadium and uh, toward Banjul. So this is how it looks. Construction going on. This is how it looks. It's under construction. When I speak, I can hear myself. I can hear the echo. Let me just turn around and show you. That's the bank in front of us. That's the standard chartered bank. And that is the direction I say is heading to Senegambia. And that's Fajara. That's a bridge. That's a water flow bridge. And that's the bypass, overpass or bypass. So we got, they got so many names for it. The flyover, the bypass. The underpass, you know, turn table, roundabout, you name it. So it's under heavy construction. If you look at my previous video, you will see the false uh, flyover bridge, which is in the Costa Road. And then you get the other one in uh, uh, turn table. The tone table by Bruce B and this is the third one which is by Fajara and uh, Caraba Avenue and the, uh, they call it the traffic light they call it the traffic light I think this is the main traffic light the other one is the uh, Sukuta traffic traffic light but unfortunately that haven't got a flyover or bypass so I think that one also need to get a bypass as well, you know, or fly over because it's a busy, busy place. It holds the traffic. Traffic doesn't move. In the rush hour, inside the trucks that bring gravels and sand. Hmm, it's another money man there. Another African tycoon in that Toyota. Toyota Cruiser It's all tinted, isn't it? It's all tinted Tinted glass So Today we're just taking a stroll around That's the African Adventure Tours As you can see that truck is under maintenance This is the place that These are the people that take the tours For safari And it takes them out out in the jungle just give it a quick tour with that truck it's got a big massive bull horn it's got a horn on it let's just take a bit of a noisy here let me show you see it's got a big massive horn horn cow horn and this is the truck this is how it looks this is how the truck looks mm. I thought they got a step, I could just climb and make a noisy but I can't see any steps to go up. So we give it a miss, we're gonna give it a miss. 
because we can't climb like that it's too high it's too high up okay right that's it too bad <laughs> doing the transportation in this old Mercedes Benz it's taking a ma uh, mattress it's transporting a mattress cheaper way than paying somebody it's a cheaper way isn't it <laughs> not only the locals that knows that you see it's showing the locals habit as well he's just tied his mattress on top of his private vehicle to transport his mattress at home don't blame him we all do it I do it too when I have my little car I transport my stuff with my little car so guys if I get built up come and help me yeah it's more likely they see me they're gonna tell me off you're not supposed to come up here but there's no barrier there's no gate there's no gate am i trespassing if i go past tell me it's wide open so i'm gonna take a noisy if i get told off i get told off i get told off right <laughs> it's african wall here we're in Africa. So here we are, there's the machineries. The heavy duty machines. We're going up. It's quite hilly guys. It goes right up. So let's go. Let's go up. Let's climb up the flyover or the bypass. It's a flyover bridge. So it's a flyover. They call it flyover because the vehicle goes right up. It goes straight. So the other ones got caught underneath. But it's not ready yet. So, as you can see these people dismantling, they're taking the roof off. They got told up by the people that goes around and tell you, tell them, knock this, knock this away, or if not, we'll arrest you, or we'll, we'll do it ourselves, and we'll get you nicked. So in that case, they have to come, they give them 24 hours. If you don't take it off by 24 hours, you get arrested. You get, you get arrested. All right, let's go. Let's just do a bit noisy here, man. It's going high now, guys. We're going high. We're going high. Till we get told off. As long as we don't get nicked, we don't get arrested. We're good. <laughs> we're good. So I'm not going to go too far. It's a bit wet as well. We got it a bit wet. So, guys, this is how it looks. This is how the road development going. The OIC road. And this is the flyover bridge. I just came specially to cover this end guys specially came here to cover this bit but I'm gonna try and walk back see how far I can work before I get a transport but unfortunately I can't go past this end man I don't want to go too far that way so that is the standard cheddar bank there we got to step back again we don't want people coming and taking us off or telling us off I think everything is a limit there's a limit on everything guys <laughs> So that's enough. So at least you guys got a bit of a content without being told off. And my feet are getting are getting heavier because of this mud. I'm stepping on the mud. So I got my supposed to be waterproof, but I had it over a year or so. So it done its job. I will show you my the shoes I got on. Let's have a look. It's my. I got. all right let's go let's carry on guys we're gonna take you around now let's take your walk back this way we're not going straight we're going back that way let's go and give it a tour so basically the vehicles are diverted there's a diversion because of this roadworks so the traffic is a bit confused you can you can say it's a bit confused people are not following the traffic the traffic rules or law because obviously you just have a look you just drive through like the way it's convenient for you to get home or to get to your destination so basically i think you can just take any route you want you know they're not following the traffic rules at the moment because of this road construction and there's nobody here coming to direct the traffic so 
basically you just take any route that is convenient for you so you use that direction it is what it is so that lorry there is gonna offload that gravel is got on it's got it's gonna offload it so basically they're gonna use all this gravel for the road works all this gravel is for the roadworks. See the lorries offloading it. Guys, it's getting hot now. It's getting really hot. Which is good though. I'm not complaining. So you see it's getting it's getting offloaded. So they're gonna use this to do the construction. Basically, it's what they do. All the lorries will come and offload the gravel. They do the same, and then they use this spray it on the road. And then uh, that's how they, that's how they get the road fixed. That's how they make the road. Basically, you have to hand the receipt as well. When it comes to deliver, you have to hand the receipt that has been delivered. So the man collecting the receipt will pick it up, like you see because this is money you know this is money they're gonna sell it as well you know if they haven't delivered it they can sell it that can cost a lot of money so that's why the lorry driver have to sort a of proof that it's been delivered by handing a receipt the guy is specially just employed to take a receipt you know because of they don't want it to be stolen and get stolen so now we're gonna head back let's see how far we can walk and this is the car wash the car was done by hand hand car wash it's really dusty so it, at the end of the day you wanna come and wash your car that's how it gets washed you gotta wash it clean get the dust off Alright guys, let's go! That gets stuck. No, it's not gonna stop, it stops. What's up the vehicle? So let's go guys, let's go! Please guys do not forget to subscribe to the channel African World Traveller. Subscribe, watch your video, give us a thumbs up, share, comment, tell us what do you think? Guys, I really was thinking they're going to be done with this road work. This road work has been going on for ages. For ages. Some reason, I don't know why. But at some point, they have to stop. They did stop. They did take a break. I don't know the reason why. But yeah, they At the moment where they start with the... It's just by the traffic light. They're building up the bridge, the flyover. And... I think from here they're gonna carry on this is gonna be connected all the way to the Banjul highway so yeah there are a lot of challenges so dismantling the taking their stuff away because basically they're on the road Guys, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Guys, I haven't got a mask, I'm inhaling the dust. So many dust. Too much of the dust. But well, we're here, we're good. My ugly face. Where am I? Can you see me? Yeah, I'm here. It's an ugly face. In Africa, we're in Africa. Inhaling the dust. <laughs> we are inhaling the dust from the roadway. Guys, it's a weekend. It's a weekend here, but it's busy. It is busy. Gifts. Gifts are us. Okay. It's like toys are us. That's gift for us.
So guys, I want to see how far I can walk and show you the OIC roadway from traffic lights all the way. Let's try and cross the road. Cross the road. Oh, African yash. <laughs> That's a bit of a glance, guys. So this is the bridge, this is the flyover. But be honest, I don't know how long this is gonna take. This road work is gonna take before it finishes. Yeah, not really so. But I guess we just gotta take, we just gotta wait. We gotta be patient. Whenever they get it done, as long as we got a good quality road but I know to be fact the fact to be honest the road is not safe everybody knows the road is not safe there's no road markings and nothing so we know it's not safe we all know that and I apparently I mean at the beginning I did mention that saying the road is not safe it's a suicidal road and I got people commenting saying saying their own opinion but to what I see I didn't mention it I said this is a suicidal road and we have a lot of accidents a lot of incidents a lot of incidents occurring in this OIC road but hopefully hopefully they will get it fixed they will get the uh, road safety sorted we help so guys, it's actually red hot. It's really hot, red hot. And this is the flyover there. This is a flyover bridge. Let's go. We're gonna walk towards Senegambia now. But I'm not sure how far I can work, you know. When I get out of breath, when I think it's, uh, I need to get a get in a vehicle. I'm just gonna hop in a vehicle so I'll try and cover as much as I can just for you guys it's gonna do this for you guys so please uh, hit the subscribe button and subscribe and show us some love show us some love to the channel and subscribe African World Traveler we're going extra miles for you wow look at that vehicle there what model is it what market is it Dodge Dodge GT It's a Dodge Okay So this is how things looks like This is the fruit vendors This is the fruit vendors here You got all vegetables and fruits around got Vegetables and fruits If you're needing vegetables, fruits You come this place You get everything you need you get everything you need bananas plantain mangoes avocados everything you need is there and watermelon papaya eggs everything it's all there okay so they haven't cleared them out so they got the space at least they got a space there where they can sell because it's part of the, uh, it helps the economic of the country, part of the development or economic growth. Yeah, without vendors, without them, the country can move, we can go forward. So we need people like them. We need markets like this, vegetable markets, where people can just come and grab it in no time and then go home. You don't want to get into the market. Not everyone wants to go to the market. It's a lot of hassle to get, get in the market but over here you can just pull up with a vehicle and get what you need that is the garden here that's the garden You've got banana flowers everything everything you need here man is selling coconut 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 is how much 50. i have one i think i can have one i don't know what traffic like that's the right fair, it should be fine, I think so. I think we're alright. Yeah. The guy is 50, man. Yes. 
Could I have one? I'm thinking, which one is more? This one is better, yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. He's saying yes, yes. <laughs> Just say yes, yes. Guys, let me give myself a treat, man. There's some... There's <laughs> some... Where are feed our kai? Yeah, Jamal Mokosi be right. Better. You got a better, right? Sorry, I'm not putting it. Huh? Hmm? I'm not putting it. <laughs> ah, okay, upside down on it. Hmm. Right. But Dimala, 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 Dimala. Okay, we're young, Bob. We're all. Mm. Guys, it's not bothered, man. He just paid, he just sold me the coconut. He's not even helping me to get it sorted. Like, get this, to get this stroll in. He's just bothered about getting the money. He just bugger off. He went. Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in. We got some coconut juice. Got some coconut juice, man. Coconut water. You see that lorry, that truck there is full of fat chairs. The flowers are nice, man. Look at the flowers. Lovely flowers. It's the loveliest flowers and canvas. I love them. I love bro. How are you? You okay? Good man. Nice work, bro. Nice flowers. Good man, thank you. Alright. So guys, the traffic is a bit. The traffic is something else. So, like I said earlier, nobody's right, nobody's wrong. You just get your way through. <laughs> Anyhow, it's convenient for you. Just try to and get there. Nice chairs, nice office chairs, eh? Some office chairs. Uh, it's not much water, coconut water on it. This guy just broke down. It's got a lot of onions in this tricycle. They call it the taxi baggers. That's what they call it. Trying to get the onions back. I think he just changed his wheels. Yeah, he's changing the wheel. Here we are, it's a flower plantation here, man. It's a lot of flowers. It's watering its flowers. How you doing? You good, yeah? Yeah, man. It's flowers, they're watering the flowers, they're watering the plants. So if, if you're in need of flowers, Come to this end, man. You got a lot of varieties of flowers. You got a lot of flowers here, bro. You got a lot of. Oh, you got some roses, man. You got some nice roses. Wow. Wow. They got some roses here, bro. Nice roses. Hmm. Wow. I wasn't expecting to see them here. We got them here. I wonder how much they're gonna cost though. They got the pink one, the red one, and they got the white one there. Ooh. I wonder how much that's gonna cost. That'd be really nice for the farm, you know. I wonder how much it is. Hey, bro. Hello. Bro. We got some roses here. I don't know how much they're selling them. Bro, can can more make coffee? Can more jai? What time did you say? Must say another color. Let me ask him how much the roses, the roses. Bro, another one. Yeah, Iba. So roses in your bro. Five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Small, small new one. Small para. Yeah, the more one. No small new one. Maybe not just some. I have to go home. The major discount. So be some guys. So go to get the cut. Take up this. Ah, it will depend. It will depend. No cost. Yeah. Hmm. I do not know. No matter how long the hunt you get. Thanks, ah. Guys, the roses are five hundred. Not bad, you know. But you know, in Africa, there's no fixed price. In Gambia, I could say there's no fixed price. You can just barter with them. They say 500, 
it depends on the quantity you're gonna get you just give them an offer offer them a price so this got some flowers we get in the taxi now wow 500 it's not bad actually 500 six about seven quid maybe seven pounds it's not bad it's not bad to have your house because they they, they spray it in it they expand so and then i believe you can just try, uh, chop them and then plant them and branches they'll come up he doesn't want to tell me they can you can but he said hey, maybe <laughs> he said yeah Munam. he said maybe that means it's possible but it's possible actually so guys, Salaam Alaikum is a greeting, it's a peace upon you, you know, it's just a greeting, it says Salaam Alaikum. So they say Wa Alaikum Salaam. It's a nice way, it's a polite way, you know. Do you guy in beer? Just say Salaam Alaikum, they'll respond back, Wa Alaikum Salaam. And you say Nanga Dev. Nanga Dev means how are you? They say, hey, down by you. I'm like, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, man, thank you. So, some nice people making canvas, they're making some canvas, they're making it there, they're making this, and they're putting it, they're putting soil on it as well. Yeah, it's always nice to be nice. Just say, Salaam Alaikum, they respond back, Wa Alaikum Salaam. <coughs> yeah. Gambia, Gambia is peaceful, it's lovely. We got lovely people here. We're harmless. We're peaceful. You know, we get the bad, good and bad everywhere you go. But overall, Gambia is nice. Gambia is nice. It's a smiling coast. <laughs> Almost everyone is smiling. <laughs> everyone is smiling. You get away with a lot of things, you know. I'm not telling you you get away with from murder, but yeah. You can get away from a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's peaceful, man. Just know your way. You get away with a lot of stuff, man. You get away with a lot of stuff. I think it's a very, very, very easy country. It's a very laid back country. It's a very, very laid back country. It is. If you are people, people, if you go with people, you're not going to struggle, man. You're not going to struggle. I wish, uh, I wish Gambia, yeah, we got another form of a country like Gambia. I can go and explore and then, you know, be like a, be like a foreigner at the same time, be like, go like, uh, like I need a help and see. Guys, that's a banana plantain there, but it fell off. It fell off, nobody's taking care of it. So it fell off. So look, it fell off, man. Because of it's getting heavier and a bit thin and they got no support so that brand just fell off because look nobody's taking care of it. So basically maybe it doesn't belong to anybody. Kids are swimming there, they're taking a bath. <laughs> they're taking a bath there. I don't want to sell them naked, you know. So they're keeping out the cows. Slow leg. Yeah they've now it. Kids, kids are funny, man. <laughs> kids are so funny. So, guys, uh, I'm gonna take you over there. It is like uh, the cows are grazing here, and there's a bit of water as well. They graze and they have some water to drink out of. So, uh, I'm gonna take you. Let's so. I'm, I'm gonna. There's a banana plantation over there. There's a banana there that just got washed out and it's just growing itself. So, so there's a big banana plantation over that side. I want to walk all the way there. Oh, it's not here. It's the other side. It's in Porto by the police station. I wanted to see that. But unfortunately, it's a bit of a work, man. It's miles away. <laughs> it's miles away, you know. I'm not willing to take <laughs> to walk all the way there, man. I got, I got my friend waiting for me. Otherwise, I would work all the way. But I got my friend, my mate just came to see me, so I'll do it another time. It's a good, nice banana plantation there.
So guys, we're here. Guys, I've got all that. I drank all that juice, man. It's empty. It's not got much juice on it. It's empty. I'm got it. Guys, I'm got it, man. That juice is empty. Oh god. It's so nice and refreshing, but it's gone now. It's empty, man. I've drank it all. Guys, I'm gonna cross the road now. So it's this is the one way, so I'm fine. I just gotta look on the left. And now I gotta look toward my right. Look to my right. The tricycle is not driving fast, so I should be fine. Man got some loose buttons, some nice hats. But they're all like they're all fake. They're all fake stuff. Oh, what's going on? So guys, there's a pig there, there's a pig farm. And there's this dirty water there, like in the river. So I'm gonna take you around. Let me just take you a tour there, yeah? Let's take you a tour there and show you and show you what's going on in here. Yeah? It's like a little stream in the rainy season. There's a bit of fish in there, you know, there's some fish in it, but it's dirty, it's a dirty water. So you got the pigs dipping in. The pigs dips in there. So Alright, let's take you around. I just gotta be careful though because there's snakes around. There's snakes. There's no crocodiles. I didn't see no crocodiles, but there's snakes. The pigs, that's the pigs farm there. I wanna take you there, but mm, I don't think there's a way, there's a road for me to go there. It's not a footpath. So I'm gonna take a miss i'm gonna give it a miss i'm gonna give it a miss so now we're gonna head back let's head back man get the vehicle and go back home and chill at least we brought you some content man we brought you content at least if, guys if you're into bird watching gambia is well known for bird watching it's a lovely birds oh sorry i just scared them some nice birds that come drinking they come drinking on the stream so you can see there's a pigs there there's a pigs and piglets i don't know if you can see right there right in front of us there's some cows as well some pigs and piglets cows so all the, all the animals are living as ones they're all living out as one. Oh, that's a five dollar seat, man. We see the kids, I'll give it to them. But it's it's broke, it's like it's not the best five dollar seat. That's a five dollar seat, man. It's a Gambian currency, five dollar seat. Only in the bank, maybe. We get a change. Oh. Ah, he's driving too fast, man. Is he stopping now? Why are you like, the vehicle is not full, why are you driving that fast? Yeah, when you know you're going to pick the passengers up. I don't know though, if I give this five dollars to the kids, where are they going to take it? Kids are a bit, <laughs> it's actually worth not much at all. Kids will expect more than that. You give them five dollars, they will look at you like you're taking a piss, man. Why you give me five dollars? I'm grown up. <laughs> I'm grown up for five dollars. Give me at least two arch. They say two arch. Two arch is two hundred. Two hundred dollars. That's about two pound fifty. You know, two arch. Yeah, it's only two pound fifty. So guys, it's another flower. It's another flower plantation. Let me just take you around. Let me uh, just drop that five dollars here because we don't need it. It's just there. Maybe somebody else will need it. We'll, we'll pick it up. Maybe someone else will need the five dollars here. It's a bit. It's a bit of dodgy five dollars here, though. You know, but yeah. This flower is there, man. Ooh. Just in the bag. Flowers. Flowers. Avocado. 
this avocado. Some flowers. 